Hello students, here's a quick video on how to play the easy guitar part for Should I Stay or Should I Go by The Clash in C major. Now throughout this entire piece you're pretty much just playing one riff and that riff changes very slightly in the chorus. Now the chords we're going to use are C5, F5, G5 and very occasionally a D sharp 5. Okay, so Let's talk about those chords first, okay? So the C5, okay, we're playing, these are all power chords, by the way. If you're not familiar with them by now, you will be by the end of this piece. So C5, you're gonna go third fret A with your first finger, and then fifth fret D with your pinky finger. And again, just those two strings, okay? No, no other strings, you don't want, you don't want open strings, okay? We just want those two strings, okay? So we've got the C5 there. And then we're going to move that shape onto the low E now and slide it down to the first fret um, on the low E and then third fret on the A. So the same thing that we're doing here, but now we're down on the first fret low E and third fret A. And that's our F5. And again, no open strings, just, just those two strings. Um, now the G5 that we occasionally get is here, okay, third fret A, uh, sorry, third fret E, and then fifth fret A. So like, like the F, we've just slid it up two frets, okay. And then finally, we've got the D sharp five, which we hear in the chorus, which is first fret D, and then third fret G, okay. Again, it's this power chord shape, no other open strings, just those two, okay. Can be a bit tricky that one when we get to it. So let's look at that intro first, because this is where that riff's a little bit different, okay? So I'll play the intro for you and then you can hear what it sounds like. Two, three, and. when the vocals come in. Now you've noticed I'm just doing that same. But in the intro we've got some other little extra bits. So the main riff we're going Okay, and that's just go from the C5 to the F5 and then back to the C5 again, okay? And we're going to be playing the C5 three times. And then we go down to the F5 and do that four times. And then we land back on the C5. Okay, so we've got, and it basically, it comes in on the offbeat. So if you listen, we go one, two, three, and one. Okay, so it's like one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Okay, so it's not coming in on one, just after, okay, so one and. So in that intro, we've got that first bit like I've just explained. And then you'll see some little X's on top of each other. And all we're gonna do there is we're gonna mute the strings with our left hand here. That doesn't mean press them so you can hear the frets. Okay, we don't want that. We just want them so they're touching the strings. And listen to this. Don't hear any noise, you just hear those muted strings. Because in the original track you can hear that. So that, that's what those X's are. We've played that first riff. Okay, and all you're doing is just muting the strings and then plucking the bottom three strings, okay? And you do that three times. Okay? So that first bit, Then you go back into that same riff that you've just done. And now you've got this. All right, a little cheeky. All that is, is just fifth fret to eighth fret, okay? Okay, and we're hammering on, okay? I'm not playing it twice, I'm just going, all right? Now, 
These little filler bits, they're not massively important because uh, the other guitars will be doing it. But if you can learn it, that's going to be pretty cool. So intro again, here we go. One, two, three, and... <laughs> That's the intro. So now I'm moving on to the verse section. Now the verse section comes in straight away as soon as we finish that intro. So after you've just done that, <laughs> drums and piano will come in now, and then we do another, and then the vocals come in on that last hit, okay? So after we've done on that, we've got that same riff that happens two more times again, okay? The C to the F. Two, three, and. Now after that, you've done that twice, we're now going to an F to a D sharp and back to F, okay? So the same pattern, that we, or same rhythm that we've just done, but using the F and then down to the D sharp and back to the F again, okay? So same rhythm, and one. Alright, and we only do that pattern once, and then we go back to the C to the F pattern. And we do that once on its own. After we've done that, we've then got one bar of this G, okay? Now this is just, no changing or moving around on this one, it's just the G. So we go one, two, three, and oh. Uh. Okay? So just, just playing that G5 chord on its own, and then we're back into... And then the whole verse repeats again. So now I'm just gonna play the verse uh, all the way through so you know what it sounds like. Um, so I'm gonna come in straight away as the, as the vocals start, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, and vocals in. Three, and one. Uh, uh. Now the F and D sharp, go. Back to the C and. Now it's the G, go. Back to the C and F, go. And that's when it repeats into the second verse. Now we're going to move on to the chorus section. Now the chorus section is pretty much doing exactly what we've done in the verse but we've got a slightly different rhythm to it now. Because now we've got this, or should I stay or should I go now and it seems like to go into this kind of um, double time feel. Now what we're going to be doing here, instead of doing that, we've got this little rhythm where we're going like this. So I'll play you the chorus first and then uh, we'll explain it. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, and. So let's talk about that chorus. So now we're not doing the ja 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 ja. Okay, we're just going to be playing each chord twice. Okay, so that's the new pattern. We're going C to F and C and C again. Okay, and then we do those two bars twice. Then we go to the F and the D sharp again, just playing them twice each. Okay, and then back to the C and F. Alright, then one bar of just G on its own. And then we've got 
then we've got that one riff back into that verse again. And then that's all the sections. After that, we go back to the verse and instrumental, which is the same as what we did for verse one and two, back into another chorus, which is the same as what we've just learned. And then at the, at the very end, after we've done the, the last sort of G, <laughs> just got one little riff to finish at the end there. Okay, so now I'm gonna play through the entire song at a nice steady pace so you can join in at home. Um, so again, guitars will start this one, so we're gonna come straight in. Um, so get ready on that C5 chord, and I'll count us in nice and steady all the way through. Here we go. And one, two, three, and... D sharp, go. Back to the C and F. Now to the G, go. To the C and F again. And. Now this is verse 2. And. sharp go to the C and F again now to the G go and the C and F again and we go into the chorus Ready? one two chorus go sharp back to C and F now to the G go back to the riff and now this is the instrumental and Again, go. Mm. F and D sharp. So C and F, go. To G and. To C and F, go. Okay, chorus two. Two, three, and... Back to 
C and F. Now G. Ready? 